Hello, everybody. It is morning here. Anyway, Bella and I are here starting another video. And I want to tell you what. This is a favorite verse of mine, and it's in Jeremiah 29, 13. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with your whole heart. And that's true. You know, you don't have to be in church just to seek the Lord. And I was reading some of my mama's journal this morning. And her mother was wondering. She wasn't a Christian at that time. So she thought maybe you just turned over a new leaf. So she tried turning over a new leaf and it didn't work. But she did become a Christian later. Because she really did find the Lord. And she was a wonderful Christian woman. For many years. Well, any here, here's Bella this morning. And we're just, I cannot believe, kiddos. It's going like 40 thousands, 41. I don't know, just, I was watching this little old grandma. There's another grandma on there, and she's, I think she's 93, and her grandson helps her. And she is a hoot. Talk about opposite. Somebody said I ought to get with her and call out all the break coming. I don't think it would work. She is, she is so different, but I would just love her if I ever could meet her, I guess, because she looks like she's a lot of fun, and I cannot remember her name exactly. Oh, well, maybe you can find her. I watched her for a while, different ones about her boyfriends and, and taking uh, flowers to her boyfriend's grave. I mean, she's got a lot of shorts, and she's on TikTok which I didn't know what TikTok was. So this morning, I just had a good time down at the Y talking to that man that he's Catholic and he's a cut up and he don't get around walking. He sits there and does one of those things. And I told him, I'm going to put him on YouTube. Don't you do that. I said, I'm going to do it. So I told him about his recipe this morning that he'd give me because he cooks and his wife does dishes. They've been doing that for 50 years, he said. He said he thought it was about time they traded. But to tell you the truth, he enjoys cooking. And I can tell it. Because when he shared his recipe about his white chili, and I shared mine about soup beans, and I haven't shared y'all, I haven't told you about my poke salad yet. Well, anyway, if you've got some poke salad, and I do it in the spring of the year, and I pick it, and I pick it down, at, I pick it on the tops, down to where it's tender, where it'll break off. It can get real tall, as long as you get the tops. And you just bring it in and you wash it, and you have to bring it to a boil and let it boil a little bit. And then you take it and you rinse it. And then you chop it up in little pieces and drain it real good. This is all I do. I just drain it real good after I pair boil, boil it for a couple of minutes, rinse it, let it drain real good, squeeze it a little, not much, cut it in little pieces, and then I get a box of Jiffy Mix. And I just dump that in there and just work it all around, and I get my iron skillet, and I get my grease hot. You can use any kind of grease, it don't matter, except I don't think, I don't think, uh, I think, I, I, I just use any kind of oil. But some of them brown better than the others, so. Anyway, then I just fry it, turn it over, and watch it till it gets brown and crispy all over. And I put it in the refrigerator, and, and when I want some more poke crispy, I just put it in the air fry and crisp it up, and eat it low calorie. Anyway, I really like it, but I, what I do is I pick poke in the spring. After it comes up, I pick the tops off about this high, break it off. And I cook it up, and I put it in my freezer. And I had poke salad the other day with the Jiffy Mix. Just make it. Now, a lot of people use eggs, and that's good, too, but I don't like it as well. I mean, you can put eggs and uh, wash it 14 times. This one, no, that's an exaggeration. But I was watching this lady, and uh, her niece or nephew, her lady, her niece, I think it was, how they made poke salad, and it was a long recipe. But I watched it, and she used eggs, and I think onions. You can use onions and just mix it up. I just like poke salad. 
and it's a lovely plant and it don't grow everywhere but it sure does grow around here and it was abundant this year and I just picked me a bunch of it cooked it up and it's in my freezer I love book salad but my mom was telling these stories about her childhood and when she went to church and played the guitar and about this big tomcat grandma was her mom was having company and this big yellow tomcat grandma kept kicking it out the door and throwing it out she'd pick it up by its neck and throw it out the door you can pick a cat up by its neck and it don't hurt it they land on their feet so she'd pick it up and throw it out and one day they was having this dinner my mom said in her journal and for some reason that cat got up higher and I don't know how they climb. You know, they like to get up on the refrigerator or anywhere. And it jumped right into the middle of Grandma, fell or jumped right into the middle of Grandma's big dinner. Her fried chicken. We always fried chicken in the old days. And Grandma could fry good chicken. When we used to come visit, Grandpa would go out and kill a couple chickens. Grandma would have water boiling. They'd clean them chickens and cut them up. And we'd have them for breakfast. And you know, the grown-ups eat before the kids in the old days. Kids had to come to a second table. And you was lucky, lucky if you got a neck after the grown-ups ate. So anyhow, I got the neck sometimes, but I just gnawed on it. It was good. I was hungry. I always, I was always hungry. And you know what? I'm, I'm 90 years old, and I still have a good appetite. I see a lot of people that they grow older and they don't have no appetite. And I'm gonna tell you what happened with number three. Now he's a big tall man and he weighed over 200. He weighed about 210, eight or 10 months ago. And he started losing weight. Well, what do I do? Well, Dr. Lois came to the rescue. I Googled, what do you do with the senior citizen that's losing their appetite? He says, maybe I ought to go to the doctor. My pants are falling down. Um, I need a 38 now instead of a 42. What am I going to do? I said, I'm going to find out how to bring your appetite up. So I Googled. Guess what? Fish oil. I didn't know that, but I learn things all the time. So what did I do? I went to the Walmart and I bought some good fish oil. Not cheap. One a day fish oil. And it's a pretty good sized tablet. He said, them big tablets. I said, you're on fish oil now, one a day. Be thankful, it's only one. And I started that about a month ago, maybe a month and a half. And you know what's happening? He's eating me out of house and home. He comes in hungry. He comes in from, I mean, I send him a lunch. He wants breakfast, he wants lunch, he wants supper. And he's gained three pounds. And he's feeling so much better. I'm happy about that, he's 82 years old. Eight years younger than me, but I have to take care of that man because I just love the socks off him. Somebody asked me, sis, uh, how, how do y'all make it at your house? And I said, well, I'll tell you the way we do it. He's the king and I'm the queen and we treat each other that way. And I tell you what, if you'll start treating your loved, loved wife and loved husband like they're the king and you're the queen, he'll start treating you like a queen. I've done that before. It works. And you all know what I'm going to do, girls and boys. This iPad is giving me fits. I mean, fits. I like to never got downloaded yesterday to talk y'all, and that just aggravated me. So I said, what am I going to do? Well, I have a savings. I'm thrifty, and I'm going to go get me a new iPad with more gig. I asked my daughter, Karen, she's the techie one too, down in South Carolina, one of the twins that was born too early and supposed to be blind and mentally retarded, and that's the truth. But they graduated the top of their class in New Albany High School. So I called Karen up and I said, Karen, which one should I buy, honey? Because I like to do these videos and this, this iPad is a night, it's a 2018. It's getting old and it don't want to mind me. I have to call Andy's 697 Andy all the time to help me. And she said, I got you fixed. So she told me what kind to get. I'm picking it up at Best Buy today. 
Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. I'm planning on that. Lord, go with me. Keep me safe as I travel. I do drive carefully. But Andy is so happy to help me. You know, he stood up at our wedding with us 14 years ago when I got married to him in 76. And you know, how that was such an accident. Somebody asked the comment, how, how did you get started doing videos? I said, well, it was an accident. I was looking in my iPad to take a selfie. I'll just tell you all this because maybe somebody missed that video. So I, uh, I just looked at myself in this, my little iPad. It's, it's a nice iPad, but it's old. And I said, you know what? You don't look too bad to be 90. <laughs> I said, I believe I'll talk a little while because I said, I, I, maybe I'll just talk a little while and see how it goes. So I talked about 11 minutes, my very first one, and it's still on YouTube. And I tell you what, I just talked till and explained how what had happened in our life. And since then, I've told miracles that's happened truly to me that I know personally. And so I said, I'm going to figure out how to put this on YouTube. And I had done it in the past, like 12 years ago, when we went to bluegrass all the time. Bluegrass was fun. That was our thing. I don't go now. I look at my bluegrass on YouTube. And they're good. And a lot of our singers that we love so much have went on to glory or retired. And they got a new bunch. We don't know who they are. We're getting acquainted on YouTube. Anyway, so I watch it on YouTube. And my other YouTube channel is called Clarine Zero. Number Zero. And it's still on YouTube. My Some bluegrass music. I, I did it with a little bitty iPad that I had back then. A little cheap one. It works good and it's still there. So I knew I knew how years ago how to do it. So I figured it out. And then it just blossomed. Thanks to all y'all. I mean, well, this Jared King TV saw me, said I felt a vibe and he shouted me out. That's what they call it, shout them out. And I've been shouting out some good friends of mine that I really like and I love him. And he's coming along. I passed him up, but I want him to catch up with me. I just love him. And, of course, his wife, Queen Laura TV, she's coming along, too. And we saw, um, who was it, uh, Spooky Appalachia. Now, his not much, but it's, he's getting better all the time because he's a young guy that's working at this. And I wish him well. There I go. Now what there was a there was a preacher we saw. Cowboy Ray, I think. You know I can't remember. But he was so good. It was it's it's really good. I'm gonna see if I can I'll have to do it another time. I'm ninety. But I do good to be ninety. Doctor Lois. And my husband is gaining weight and I'm just happy that He's in good health and I'm in good health and I wish good health for y'all. So that verse today that I read is so good. Go with God, children. I mean, Jesus is the answer to all of our problems that people would just love their neighbor as their self and be kind to one another. But a lot of people are not kind and that's sad. We're not going to be unkind if we can help it. I have been known to raise my voice at number three sometimes. But I'm always sorry, and I say, Lord, forgive me. He gets on my nerves sometimes because he watches football. And I say, can you turn that down, please? Kind of loud because I cannot stand football. I got to go to the other room and do something else. There's other women like me. Then there's some that can sit and watch it with them. I try, but you know what I have to do? If he don't turn it down, I have to put tissue in my one good ear I hear with. Don't hear with this one. So I put a little piece tissue in there or something. Or I take my iPad and I stick in my earphones that I got that fit on my head. And I watch whatever I want to on my iPad. And I'm getting me a new one today. 
God is good all of the time. I gotta go. Talk to y'all later. I'm gonna try to get this uploaded. And I hope I didn't bore you to tears. I never know. But I love you. God bless you. And walk that path that would be pleasing to Jesus. And I'll try to do that all day today. <laughs> Lord, help me. Bye-bye. <laughs> love y'all. I tell you what, y'all just send me love and I feel it. God bless you.